going on? It is another episode of Journey of a Producer. Um, where have I been? Uh, I've been super busy, which I'm kind of grateful for because uh, it's needed at this time. Um, I would vlog everything that I do that's going on, but mainly I've been DJing. And I can't put copyrighted music in my DJ, in my, um, in my vlogs, um, because I might get copyright strike. So I can't bring you guys with me. I may do a little snippet. I tried to go, um, I tried to go live while DJing, um, and it actually worked if some of you guys were on there and caught that. Um, it actually worked, so you would have saw that. But, you know, I'll try to broadcast from where I'm DJing at. I'm booked f at least four days a week, sometimes five. Uh, I still work my nine to five. Um, oh, and thank you guys so much for the response on the Get Upside app. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the last vlog and... Uh, towards the end, I talk about the, the Get Upside app. Um, down below, I'll leave uh, the information in the description down below um, of the Get Ups about the Get Upside app. Man, you guys uh, responded to that, and and if you did, kudos to you. Um, if I knew you guys' name, I think I only got email addresses um, based on the app, and it doesn't show you guys' name, I guess, for privacy reasons. But I would love to shout you guys out, everybody who does it. It's not too late. I'll still give a shout out if you download it and uh, put in my code. And you can comment in the, put in the comments that you did it. And I'll confirm it and I'll make sure I shout you out on the next video. So, again, the app is called Get Upside. Get Upside. All right. Um, headed off to church today. Normally, I would DJ today after church, but I don't have to. Um, there's a Zydeco band coming into the building, so I don't have to uh, DJ. Um, but I had to DJ all day yesterday, pretty much, from open to close. Um, I did get a two-hour break in the middle, which helped out. Um, but I got some other things I got to do. I got to go to Walmart. I got to bring a foot pedal back to Guitar Center. I got to... Um, take Sean to get a haircut. The kids are doing great. Uh, school is going great. Sean loves his new teacher. Uh, Jasmine's doing great. Keisha's doing great. Everybody's doing good, and it's a blessing. So uh, let me head off to church um, so I can play, and then I'll see you guys after church. All right, so church is over, and right now I'm headed to the car wash because of this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there are bugs and love bugs sm and smashed all over my car. And what's funny is I got this washed yesterday and between yesterday and today, um, they've come back. So I do have a membership at a car wash, which is unlimited. So, um, I can do as many as, well, I can do as many as two, uh, washes in a day. So, um, I'm playing a month, paying a month, monthly membership, so I can do as many in a month, but no more than two in a day. So, I'm about to head over there and run the car through it.
I also like it because it gives you free vacuum, but all the vacuum slots are taken on. Oh, there go one. I get to quickly vacuum my car, which I'm definitely going to take advantage of. Everything changes. I actually just uh, was about to check out in Walmart and got a call from the shop saying that they would like me to come in and DJ today. So I'll be there till 8 o'clock. The Saints play today, but um, uh, they had a Zydeco band that was supposed to be there. Evidently, something happened with the Zydeco band. They weren't there, so they asked me to hurry up and come in. Uh, the game doesn't start till 3.25. Right now it's 2.50 and it takes me about 10, 12 minutes to get there. So I definitely will be there before the game starts, which I actually don't mind DJing the Saints game. First of all, because I'm a Saints fan and y'all know I'm from New Orleans, but uh, it's a little less DJing I have to do because while the game is playing, I don't DJ and I only DJ on commercials and halftime, so it's a little easier to, to DJ. So I don't mind. Uh, the game will be over at seven o'clock. I get off at eight, so it's all good. So yeah, um, headed there now. I don't know how much I'll be able to videotape because like I told y'all earlier, um, don't want to put copyrighted music in my YouTube, so. You know, we'll see what I can do. I'll talk to y'all later. Well, good morning to ya. And just like that, things change up. It's a whole nother day. It's actually three days later. And um, I don't know why my phone is I don't know why my phone is going off like this, but uh, it's a horrible day in Houston. Uh, I'm headed to work. Uh, we had a tropical storm warning um, that delayed what time our office will open. Um, I had to cancel interviews today. I had to reschedule those, um, but I'm going in. We, we um, didn't have to be there till 10. So I got about uh, 25, 30 minutes to get there and I'm driving to work basically. So um, last clip I believe was when I was uh, headed to go DJ. I DJed uh, almost seven, well I didn't DJ seven hours, I was there seven hours. Um, really only DJed maybe three and a half, four, if that. And um, you know, was dead tired when Sunday came. So I got to be more um, diligent. There was a band that played from like six to nine. And then I played from nine to 10, but I also played before the band started. Anyways, um, this week I am booked Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I don't have to play Sunday because, well, I play for church Sunday but I don't have to DJ Sunday evening for the Saints game because I have, oh no, they have a special DJ coming in with a special host and uh, they're coming to our location to do it. So I don't have to be there. So I won't be there. I'll be at home relaxing, which is good. Um. Quickly, I want to talk about this YouTube thing. I heard that YouTube is not going to monetize <clears throat> either creators or videos that contain kids in it. It's a whole situation. Um, I'm told that they're giving everybody four months to adjust. I don't know how much 
of my content will be affected. But let's just say going forward, you may see less of my kids, um, at least in the thumbnail, if not um, throughout the video. But I feel sorry for a lot of the main family channels, a lot of family channels I watch. And I know, <clears throat> I know that they put their kids at the forefront, pretty much. Yes, the, the channel is about the adults, but believe it or not, more kids watch YouTube than adults. Um, so when you put, when kids see kids their age in the video, you know, they kind of watch it more, especially in the thumbnail they'll watch it more. I actually thought considered doing a tour review channel uh, with my kids and I'm glad I didn't start it because I'm pretty sure uh, tour reviews with Evan, his tour review channel, is probably not going to do um, as well as it's doing now, unfortunately. Um, I hopefully it gets sorted out and again, hopefully mine isn't affected. I don't think I showed my kids in any type of life to where um, someone could take that snippet and deem it as uh, inappropriate. So uh, I think we're good. But again, you may see less of them in the video. Um, I don't, I'm not going to completely cut them out because, again, this is Journey of a Producer and they're part of my journey. So that's that. Let me go ahead and focus and head to work and we'll talk about this um, later on. I'll uh, see you guys later. Hello, hi. This right here is a base I just purchased. Um, it did come from the pawn shop because I'm learning a new instrument and I figured I might as well not spend an arm and a leg for an instrument that I'm just learning. So once I get pretty good and I see that I'm committed to it, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a real one. Uh, it does have a couple scratches here, right here. We have a loose peg here. We're missing a screw um, here. But other than that, I like it. And her name is Roxy. Roxy the Red Bass. And um, I played it a little bit. You know, I'm going through some lessons. I found some online lessons that are free that teaches me the basics about the bass. And from what I heard, as long as you, as long as you know how to play the piano and know the notes and your scales, I think... They say uh, playing the bass is something you can easily pick up. Um, I have no clue what is in this vlog. Um, probably was all over the place. Don't know how much I caught. Um, the kids are actually home from school. You probably saw Jasmine walking in the back, which you shouldn't have. Um, don't know why they're home from school. There's a school holiday and don't know what the holiday is. Um, I am off tomorrow, so I got some things to do. I got rid of cable because it was costing too much. I found a new method that's really good, and if it works out well, I'll tell you guys about it. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything new. Keisha's actually out and about, um, but everyone's doing well. Everyone's doing good. Album is actually doing good. Um, and we just hit, we just hit half a million views and we're at about 2,500 subscribers. So, um, trust me when I started, I never thought I'd get to half a million views as fast as I did. I've been doing this less than five years. And, um, when I first started. I had one video that did well, and it was a small clip I posted of uh, Beyonce's birthday party. It's probably 10 seconds at the most. And somehow that got 14,000 views when YouTube first came out. So, um, anyways, I'm going to be more consistent. I know it looks like 
I, instead of going twice a week, I, I've been either doing once a week and then I went to once every two weeks and now it's almost once a month. Because DJing, I swear, I'm all over the place. I'll even insert a clip here of a recent party I DJed at a um, at a daiquiri shop. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. If anything new, check your updates. I will be updating you guys. Um, I try to go live as often as I can. And guarantee you, month of October, there will be more vlogs. I'll find more of a reason to vlog. All right? Talk to you guys later. You hear me?